I I've been captured by um William McDowell. Okay. Dang it. Alright. I've been captured by your love I can't explain. And now you have me and I'm forever changed. I've abandoned Richard everything I ever know is singing. Now I surrender. My life is not my own. I belong to you. I belong to you. I belong to you. I belong to you. Beautiful. And then beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you, Rashad. That is beautiful. Thank you. There's a song that came to me last night. This is not a solo, you know, I just got over a cold. So, you know, the frog's going to be in there a little bit. But um, this is what came to me while I was studying for the message. And now, let the weak say I am strong. Let the poor say I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done. For us, give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks for He has given Jesus Christ His Son. And now let the weak say, I am strong. Let the poor say, I am rich. Because of what the Lord has done for us, give thanks. God is so ready, willing, and able to heal your heart. He knows some of you are struggling with so many things, and you have such a horrible background such a painful background. But guess what? God is not only ahead of you. God is behind you in the past. And he will take the sting. There's a scripture that says, death, where is thy sting? Grave, where is thy victory? You will mourn because of the things that happened in your past, because of your losses, the pain, whatever, God is back there with it too. And he is bringing it up to the forefront so he can pull it out of you so it will have no more control over your present or future. Your destiny is in God's hand. Your life is in God's hand. Your emotions are in God's hand. Your mindset is in God's hand. And if you allow him to come into the most embarrassing part of your life, guess what? Your healing is coming. Do you hear what I'm saying? Your healing. So I want you to think about that. I'm going to keep this message brief because... Sometimes we can preach too long or say too much. And I want you guys to have a chance to share. But I just want you to be encouraged. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. God will not leave you comfortless. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. That's Jesus. Listen, you have got to, to do your best to believe in what God wants to do in your life. If you could just experience his love, pursue that experience from him. 
you will have far less doubt when you are in a ringer, when life sets a trap for you, when you fall into a pit hole. You know that you know that you know that God's love will get you out, even if it's a pit hole that you jumped in yourself willfully. God knows that some of the choices we make, now I will say this, sometimes we make stupid choices to bite off our own nose to spite our face. We punish ourselves. You hear what I'm saying? We punish ourselves over and over and over again. And we don't realize how God is saying, look, you don't have to punish yourself. I paid the price. You hear the song? Jesus paid it all. All to him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain, but he washed it white as snow. Listen, no matter what you think or where you've been, what you've done, some of the crazy choices you've made, guess what? There is always a remedy. J-E-S-U-S. -S. He's our remedy. He is the reason. He is the reason. Oh, and we are the reason he suffered and died. Just know that God is for you. And if God be for you, who can be against you? Satan, get the can of rain. Stop on it with your Holy Ghost foot in the name of Jesus. He's no more than a roach. He cannot do anything in your life that God is not allowed. So whatever you think of things are going counter skelter and you say, uh-oh, God's given up on me. Uh-oh, God doesn't love me anymore. Uh-oh, God has thrown his hands up on me. He's punishing me. Here comes the booty whooping. No. No. God said he will not break a smoking, uh, uh, Oh, I can't even get, I got to say it in everyday language. He will not burn up a, a spark. He will not douse it out. The little you got left inside of you, he will nurture it. He will not stop it out because you made a boo-boo or you committed a sin or because you uh, made a stupid choice. Half the things you do is because of what happened back then and because of what you are going through. The mishaps. Listen, my husband and I would go to the restaurant. I'm trying to keep it short. My husband and I would go to the restaurant. My husband was 100% blind. We would go to the restaurant, and one thing blind people are destined to do from time to time is knock a glass over. And we would be enjoying our meal, and boom, there goes the glass. Now, am I going to get angry at him for knocking a glass over. I'd be a monster to do that. No. Why? He didn't do it on purpose. It comes from being blind. Some of you, your minds are so blinded. You're so in, in a state of confusion. You're in a state of, of crisis. You don't know which end is up. You don't know whether to run, whether to stand still, whether to go backwards, whether to give up. You don't know what to do. So you grasp at straws and you make stupid choices. Then you have to pay the piper because life has consequences. Mm -hmm. it, comes with the, it comes with the whole package. It doesn't mean because you're paying a consequence that God is punishing you. Because God understands you're blind and you're going to knock the glass over from time to time. Now we're going to continue this as God says next week. But I don't want to be a dead horse. I just want you to be encouraged. Know that wherever you are, he will give you beauty when you give him your ashes. Your ashes. He'll take your trash out for you. Give him the trash can. Mm -hmm. That's what he wants. He doesn't want a whole bunch of uh, lip service. He wants your trash. Give it up. And watch yourself lose weight.
Because the Bible says, don't let any sin or weight. See, sins and weights can so easily beset you. It can slow you down. It can drag you down. Okay. Now, a lot of our sins come from our hurt. Think about it. They're sin anyway. It doesn't excuse us. But God understands. And if you go to him with your mess, he will be way more patient to help you out. Take my word for it. Go to him. He is the lifter up of your head. He's the father to the fatherless. A mother to the motherless. He will comfort you. He will heal you. The potter wants to put you back together again. God bless you. Now you can open up your mics. I'm going to sit my little happy hips down.